Hey all, Windstreak here. Uh, today I'm going to be helping Ahmed Esmat. He is working with Mouse Over or Cursor Over, and he's trying to have a different event happen depending on whether the object he's hovering is up front or behind, which is all based off the Z index. And uh, I'm going to go over a few pretty simple ways to work around that. So, what we currently have is a pink ball and a purple ball, and the idea is if I hover over the pink ball, then my cursor will change into a pointer and if I'm off of it it'll change back and then also if I click on the ball it'll set my text and just to show what we have so far I can highlight I get the pointer I can come over here no pointer I can click over here nothing click on this and just to prove that I click it's just set in the current date and time and seconds so you can see it gets updated nothing happens over here so that all works normal um, but it's this weird interaction of hovering over other ones that messes stuff up. So if we look here, we get no cursor, but we can click. And then if it's on top, if it's on top, we end up with the same thing. So it doesn't really care right now who's on top. Still no cursor, but we can click just like the last one. Um, and that's because it sees through other objects and essentially we just have to plug in a way for it to check to see if it is seeing through another object um, so the first thing we'll do is another mouse over here and we'll throw it as do nothing on the do nothing ball and we're just gonna invert this and this will stop this from clicking if it's over any of the other ones so let me move it over and this will make it so both things are now no longer functioning and then I have this preset code saved just so I didn't have to struggle through it with all you here and essentially it's saying if we cursor over the pink ball at all let's do this stuff and this stuff is gonna make two local variables variables um, setting them both to zero but they are just looking at the index um, so the first one will go to turn mouse hand which is the name of my pink ball um, and I'll take its Z index so it's gonna set it to one and then the second one will be my do nothing ball well it will do it to both of them and it'll set one to zero and one to f uh, two sorry three um, so one will be higher one will be lower and then we'll make our code based off of what it's highlighting so if we are over the pink ball and we are over the purple ball it'll do this little check down here if the mouse index is higher than the nothing index then we'll set it to hand and if the mouse index is less than the nothing index we'll set it to normal and we can throw these on top of each other so we can see we have a hand and then if I throw it under the other one oops, then we will have a nothing and then we can just repeat that for the click so if cursor is over um, so we're gonna want if this and we'll copy that down there and then should be able to just take all the same stuff and essentially repeat it but instead we will edit the text instead of setting so if it's good we will set the text oops that's not what I wanted and if it's bad we don't have to do anything because we didn't change anything when we clicked the purple so it's hidden we can't click it don't see a hand and we'll set it back up to where it's by itself click it we got the time and then the one last one to test is on top and we can still oh no time so let's double check what I did wrong here and this has to be not inverted for this guy um, so if we're over both then we'll do these checks boop on there we go and uh, essentially this is how you'll work around you just gotta grab that index and do a check see what one's on top and then go from there hopefully this helps you out have a great one